me about your secrets I dream and fantasize that I come by your house telling you about my regrets Why did I have to break it up? Cause I was way too shallow My mind was way too narrow I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I do I don't know how Hello and welcome to Padova, the lovely shot of the venue and surrounding area there as we get ready to draw our attention to field four, the showcase field at the spring invite, the first of three finals in the mixed division. I'm Stefan Rapazzo, joined with Charlotte Tennyson for this spring invite final. Charlotte, how are you? Hi, Steph. Pleasure to be here. I'm doing amazing. So excited about this first final of the spring invites. We have the mixed division here playing with Lemington Lemmings and this connection from Freiburg, Germany, playing for the golden ticket to the EUCF finals end of September this year. Golden ticket available. We've been talking about it all weekend. This game is the first that will award the golden ticket to the winner. Both these teams have gone undefeated through the tournament thus far. They've both had a half decent game against Gold Gentle, uh, but otherwise have both moonwalked their way into the final with relative ease and so when these two powers match the immovable forces combined only one will come out on top we suspect a tight game based on these results and only time will tell now who will be the undefeated team there is your EUCF final ticket the golden ticket. Will it be the Leamington Lemmings or will it be Disconnection? Stay tuned to find out. Only time will tell right now. We are super excited to see what these teams have in the highest intensity possible this weekend. Mix final. This is it. Grand Finals Spring Invite EUF Series leading in to the EUCF at the end of the season. Not much separating these two teams. And of course, a reminder, we are going to run commentator bingo now. Go check our Alti TV Instagram uh, page, check our stories, and you will see a list of words that we're gonna be uh, seeing if we can implement in there. Pick three of those words, post them in the comments, post them on Instagram, or preferably in the comments section of this stream. And let's see if you can win and uh, pick the three words that us commentators use the most. We'll try our best to put this word smoothly during the commentators. Commentating. Here comes the opening poll. We are underway. 
and Haas picks up for disconnection. He shoots deep right away. Weigel's there, but the disc does not have enough on it. Leamington applaud the missed effort, and they will get a chance to go the other way. An enthusiastic start of the game. Darkly showing that no option will be denied. Everything can be thrown. You have to be everywhere to defend, which Levington successfully did. Here come the Lemmings. Following each other into trouble. Barnett gets the upliner. Another big gainer. 28. Oh, and that one too far in front, straight back and disconnects and get another look. Fry steps in the way and steals that to ensure the reception. Then goes around, strong break backhand to Kemmer. But that one, now they are just giving up meters in the wrong direction. Lemington on the doorstep or Flips one in, and it does count. There is a pick called. It does not count immediately. That is very unexpected from disconnection, that kind of mistakes. Maybe Le Lemington is really putting a strong pressure on them, and they have to adapt their game now. Maybe a pressure they haven't felt so far in the tournament, and we have a violation as well. A pick called friendly fire. Freiburg into Freiburg there for the pick. Disc is in. That one shot into the end zone. Great <laughs> reception there by Sasha Haynes. Great catch. One zero early going. Lemmings take the lead on a break. Sasha definitely wants that coffee machine they've been betting on. Apparently, if Lemmings comes out with the gold after this tournament, Sasha will get a coffee machine from her boyfriend. This is what we've heard. So she's definitely going to put it, everything she's had happy for to, coffee. Happy to collect the first goal. Coffee machine would be a fantastic addition to anyone's kitchen. As a sushi roll would be a great addition to anyone's dinner or lunch. Great way to encourage your players to give everything they have during a game. What better motivation than coffee in Italy? Here comes the pull, outside in backhand. That's gonna roll after it hits the turf. And oh. offside called. Offside? That's an unusual. It's not unusual to be offside. No. It's more unusual to call offside. Exactly. But I think it's something that needs to be called more frequently. And then maybe the usuality of offsides happening will decrease. Fasta. Who gets Ooh. the upliner just into Yesid. And the step in front, easy snipe away to Wilson. Great look by the Lemmings defense. Oh. That is going to be deemed out of bounds. I believe that's the right call. They may want another look. That was a very close one. Great tiptoe. There's the turn. We've got a crowd coming to see. Ooh, I think that's it. My opinion, I'm not the referee here. They decide on their own, but I think he did keep his toe down there. Great tiptoe by the Lemmings player. Sanders. Oh. 
Goes to the backhand there for the inside throw to, to center. Katman back to Sanders. Sanders zips one heavy pressure there, but Panting keeps it. Inside break to Rosie Coward, who we've seen in the EUCF final last year, playing with Redding, that one just <laughs> enough for Sanders, and then back to Rosie Coward for the goal, 2-0 Lemmings. What a save here. Great layout, really saving the disc from the ground, like touching the run was, what, a few millimeters from the ground, just one finger away to get a uh, uh, turnover. So two nothing lead. It's uh, nothing too surreal at this stage, a mild uh, cushion. Disconnection are just going to want to get themselves calmed, reset. And they will uh, have many opportunities to get this back in their favor, but they're going to need to do something about it. And doing something about it that begins with a hold. Hold first catch up later here's the pull Andy Partridge sends it the length of the field to Magdalena Fry who stays in a very deep dump set trying to really create space around the thrower Fry works to get open then gets it up to Gross Gros not afraid at all to chuck the deeps. Turk. Turk again, high stall count. Kesser. Kemmer rather back to Haas. Wide side, Kemmer's got all sorts of time. But no gainer, back to Turk in the center. Two players converge on the near side that had to both be looked off because of the defensive accompaniment. Turk with the disc, Haas is wide open, begging for it, gets it, but has to retreat 10 meters to make the completion count, and then he throws it into the grass. And that is not what disconnection need to get back into this. Lemmings with another chance to break. Yeah, this connection seem a bit uh, disconcerted, actually. Maybe a Le Lemmings is really putting huge pressure, but that is definitely not the play they've been, we've been used to this weekend from this connection. Haynes with the nice break, now a shot for goal. That one is in. Alistair Orr with the goal, and it's another break. Three points, three breaks, all favored to the Leamington Lemmings. Great job by Lemmings imposing themselves from the beginning of the game. Showing what they want and what they're gonna do to get it. They really want this spot for EUCF in Wroclaw, September 2023. And we have a timeout here. Timeout on the field. We'll take a break. Don't forget to be playing commentator bingo. Check on Instagram for your words to listen for. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you.
some time out. Lemmings send the pull to disconnection. Who are trying to get themselves sorted, looking for the password to solve this Lemmington defense. And they've got away with a touch and bobble into their own hands. Gross. And here sends deep. Steve that that one looks well weighted. It is indeed. They are finally on the board. One versus three breaks against, but they've got the desperate hold they needed. Here it is. Here is the disconnection game we know. That is their momentum, their motion. Their way to play. That one Great. looks good. Here's another look at the replay as we get the incoming throw to Gross. Uh, not yet. There it is. And now you see Gross with the big throw for goal that is just beautifully weighted. What a beautiful play. And we got news also from the half final behind us on the field. Women half final shout versus 3SB. 3SB is leading the half final plus one against the European club's champions in title shout. That is insanity. If Shout wins the European title and then gets beat in the semi here by 3SB, that would be a story indeed. It's not over, but they are backed up against the wall over there. The Bologna outfit playing in Padova. Here we have the Lemi Leamington Lemmings. That one shot deep and shot to the grid. A break chance available now for disconnection. Great shot down by disconnection. No options were available, but this long throw with the wind pushing the disc even further to the sideline. Because we have some wind here going from the field to the tribunes, towards the tribunes, sideway wind. However, I would suspect Leamington to be a windy place. That was a very quick D1 throw and the number 80 shirt. David Cubitt gets the slide in front D there and uh, gives his team back a chance to hold shot deep for goal cubits there and he's all alone that one's gonna count the assist from andy partridge in the 11 shirt and leamington lemmings gave a sniff of a chance for a break and then is a one gets in front of the intended receiver and lemmings will have a chance to break again Great trap defense by Lemmings, really shutting down that around reset to keep the disc on the sideline for this, forcing a very tight, fast throw, which, as we've seen, is not that easy to throw, especially with the wind. Good run there, another tight line call by Sanders. That one a little bit easier. He's thrown it. He's got two receivers there. Either one of them might have had it, but the 91 shirt ends up getting it. That is Ben Andrews with the goal on the Sanders assist. Great deep shots to the back of the end zone as we like them. Updates of the women half final behind us. We have shout breaking to take the lead back of the game. Let's see how this will end up later. I'm getting some pronunciation help. Leamington apparently oh. pronounced the same as Lemmings, rhymes with Lemmings, so Lemmington Lemmings. It's like reading is reading, leaming is lemming. It's like you English didn't invent English or something. Logic is not for English. No, not at all. But we'll get there. Okay, it's time for this connection to wake up, to put the intensity and the efficiency they've been showing all weekend. 
Five to Lemmings. Disconnection pull. Great pull. But fielded and moved very quickly by Lemmings. And that one, I think there was a small touch at the point block, but got gobbled up by Philip Steffen later in the flight path. Gross. Goes up and around and hits number 35. That's Erdman. Back to Gross. Erdman again. Checks the inside. Goes back to Gross in the handling set. Now forward, but the step in front defense takes it away. Number 18 for Le Lemmings. That's McGreedy with the D. She saw the opportunity, recognized it, and two kids. Wilson with a very big mark on him. Goes the other way to Sanders. We talked about how uh, this connection was pretty good about uh, for uh, sw swinging in a disc and using oh. the width of the field. And as we, oh. There is a shot for goal too deep. And does it Unfortunately. count? Unfortunately. So yes, as we see, Lemmings have been doing really great too, to using the whole width of the field. And we have a travel call downfield. But because the errant throw wasn't affected by it, the turnover stands and disconnection will start to get down into that other end zone to find the treasure that they seek. That one up oh! and great defense. That was a great matchup. Two bodies in very similar form, but the Lemming defender Katma goes wide to Wilson. Wilson shoots to Rosie Coward, collects in front of the scoreboard. Winds up the flick and puts it away. Northern Americas. Gross. And Chances for disconnection to get the break. Gross to Stefan, back to Gross. Gets the gainer to Erdman. Gross, nice up line cut, well fed. Power Here position, comes the boom. jammed it. But defender was in front, but the throw was just perfect enough. Over the head, into the hands of number 41, Felix Visser, with the goal for disconnection. Great shot. Just a tiny bit low to make us uh, oh, doubt about the outcome of this throw. Would the defense get it or not? And just not a tip of the fingers. Over the head of Sanders. Not the tallest of defenders there. He got up well, but the throw was just... High enough to make it over his head. And it's 3-5. They are scrapping away, staying in this one. And the pull lands into the hands of Alistair Orr. And centered. Oh, what a catch here! Great commitment by the Lemmings player. Howard drops back to Partridge. 
Partridge goes deep outside in and floating. There are all types of players, but none bigger than Mr. Alistair Orr, who collects the next goal for the Lemmings. Lemmings staying steady and not missing any opportunities, but one overthrown hug so far. Great shots, great teamwork. Here's another look at it. What a catch. Great catch, great read. Sucked in his defender. He knew he was the bigger body. And uh, read it right the whole way. 6-3, double up Lemmings. Take three, two points away from the half time for Lemmings. They sure started well this final. Starting their way, making their way through for the gold. And great second attempt from number 27. Uh, oh, oh, Nover. Great catch, great lecture. Nover putting disconnection one closer. Here is another look at the play. As you see the throw coming from Daniel Turk and Nover, desperation, second effort. There was good defense there and you see the reaction to, oh, just a little bit too little, says Nathan Simons. That's so frustrating to be so close to the defense, to get that defense, especially in the end zone. But great commitment, great action. And here comes the poll, Arne Gross. Sent to Andy Partridge. And now Andy Orr. There's the shot for goal. Gross is there, but it gets beyond both intended receivers. Lawrence Howard couldn't turn the corner. Just a little bit overthrown, too bad. So we got updates from the Women's Half Final. Shout took the win for the final against, we presume, not Tequila, but East, East Block. Block. But uh, confirmation to come. So Shout will go back to back against uh, Czech clubs, 3SB and then East Block. Philip Stefan kicks that one in to Wojtko. Kirklow. Big poachers here. To Hambrecht. Arne Gross. And finally, they're out of their own end zone here. Gross has gone deep. He's got two receivers. Defender late to the party. Philip Steffen comes down with that and then throws the one meter assist to Felix Visser for what, the goal. What a clumsy situation here. No, not knowing where the disc is anymore, trying to stay on their feet. Here's another look at the replay. You see the defender here, number 11, got all twisted up. 
looked a little bit like a toddler going down there, uh, trying to do his best to defend that. And unable to pull it off. Luckily for disconnection. Great break. Because they've put one back on the board. It is 5-6. Getting tighter. Getting tighter scores here for the pleasure of the fans who want a exciting game here. We like universe points. We like galaxy points. We need those close games. It's what we live for. Sanders to Wilson. Lemmings started off hot and Disconnection just finding a little bit of energy now. Putting themselves back in a situation to contend. That one, Gross had his shoulder on the back of 63 Katma. Uh, no foul, that one was too far in front anyways. Kirklow to pick up. Bauer wants the disc, he's wide open. But it's shot deep. The captain, Arne Gross, ties it up. It's six apiece after a big Lemmington lead at the start of the game. Disconnection have leveled the score. Here is disconnection as we've seen it, getting their momentum back. That's what we were talking about. Lemmings finally having a gourmet taste of what these connections got. The German team tying up. They are still a break behind. They started on O and they are currently playing D. But it's a much better position than they were in 20 minutes ago. It's only one break away. A third of the, the job has already been done. One more time. Let's see Lemming's reaction and see if they're gonna still impose their game, their intensity and efficiency. Pull comes into the hands of Wilson. And immediately moved on by Megan Daly. Now the deep shot, Sanders there, he's gonna have that one. He certainly is, that's a quick goal for Lemmings. What a beautiful shot. Nice and easy. You got a deep running, you gotta serve it. Really nice shots from Lemmings so far. As we're saying, all these successful hawks are very nice to see. Despite the wind, they have a great control of those. 7-6, the score line here from Padova. Freiburg versus Lemmington, Germany versus GB for a chance to win the spring invite and a golden ticket to the EUCF final. Lots happening in Padova today. There's a marathon this morning, as well as this grand tournament. We had to reroute ourselves on the way here because of the marathon. We, we, we drove by a beautiful bit of landscape, a nice castle we passed. It was uh, a lovely ride to the fields this morning. Love to see the Italian landscape uh, in Padova, just outside of Venice. That one sails away, lands outside, and will be taken to the brick mark by Festa. Yeah. 
Feste to Turk. Deep shot right away. Fry is there. There is company. Too much company. And the throw does not stay. Turk lets that one get away. Too much of an inside angle. Also, the release was not that easy. Uh, if you saw, the mark was pretty close and the release was made between the mark's arms. Disc back in. Lemmington's from their own corner. Just get away with a the completion there on their goal line, and now they've got a bit of space. Ben Andrews forwards. Comes all the way across to Carmel Ellis. Ellis, that one's going to sail out of bounds, or maybe not. Called in and continuation. Oh, a, a chance for Turk to make up for his turnover, but he doesn't go for it. Instead, it is Peach with the disc and flips one over to the 89 shirt. Now wide to with that goal from Cubit. And that is a break for Lemmings to take the half. They really put the metal to, metal to the pedal to get that break to disconnection, against disconnection, and safely... And be back for second half action. Hope you are following along with the commentator bingo the same. See you soon. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. I told you we wouldn't be long. We're back. Second half action. Did you miss us? Of course they did. <laughs> Lemmington has been looking the goods. They took an early lead. Disconnection came back to tie it up at six, but two goals to close out the half by Lemmington and a pull reception to start the second half gives them a... Slightly comfortable advantage at this stage of the game. F throw goes forward to Katma. He winds up the big looking for a neutron bomb but puts it away. That one gets around. Coward is there. Ooh, centered low and away to Simmons. And that one's in for goal for the Lemmington Lemmings, they open up, it's 9-6. And they have the comfortable lead they were hoping for to start this half on O. They ha yes, they had the comfort to start on O the second half after their breaks in the first half. This is a big advantage that they used wisely and well. It may well be pedal to the metal for those following at home, but if you're following our commentator, Bingo, you might be picking up points as well following on the comments.
And a short pull hits the turf. Picked up by Haas and seconded on to Gross. He winds up the big one a couple times, then gets the up liner to Weigel. Fry with the disc, 10 meters out. Ooh, what a fake. Oh, and deep shot. Shot for goal, Gross is there, he collects. That one counts. Uh, they bring it to within two, nine, seven down a deuce. He carries his name pretty well, Gross in German, which means tall. The guy is indeed pretty tall. <laughs> He's a big man, he can't coach tall, can't coach height as they say, but I think he's got a little bit more about his game than just being tall. He knows how to use it. He's got tall, he knows how to use it. We gotta stop our breaking into song here, Charlotte. I'm not singing. I am. I've got to stop. <laughs> I need to go see a doctor no. about this. <laughs> I like the singing. It brings uh, joy. To the world. To the world. Disconnection. Pull. That is Katja Weigel. And Wilson will saunter to the disc and slowly put things into action here. Will who gross is chomping at that D, but doesn't get a hand on it that time. Instead, it rests with Katma. He knows they need the defense, and he knows they need to step up for that. Katma to Wilson to Sanders in front of the scoreboard. Pantling. To Wilson. At the midfield mark once again. Gainer to Coward over the head and through the hands. She got her fingertips on that, but they were not enough to maintain possession. It's fun that despite the wind, neither, neither of the teams team is starting a, de a zone defense or adapting to the conditions. They are both sticking to person D with poachers, obviously. There is a call on the field, a false start violation, perhaps. This goes back. Or players have to go back to their previous proposition. Arne Gross gets the gainer. Here there goes the it shot. Is. Erdman's there, but that throw is going to tail off in the wrong direction. Really good run by the German player, but this was just flying away from her. Possible to catch up. Wilson taking the long walk to the disc out the back corner. <laughs> and cuts are off and running. First throw comes in to Katma. And he's gone to Sanders up that sideline. They are jamming it up the sideline. Coward hangs onto this one. Two hands, safe as houses. Sanders busts up line, but it can't go. And the hand oh. block. What a block by 68. That is Hambet. Hambrecht for he, the Germans for disconnection. What a play. And Lemmings players throwing themselves to the ground to try to save that hand block to happen. Turnover to happen. Weigel gets and gives to Gross. Gross goes deep early. Receivers read it the wrong way, looked over the wrong shoulder. 
Phoenix Connection really forcing those hugs. They, they've been trying, it's already the second time. This point, maybe they should play a bit more conservative, more swingy swing as they were playing in the previous games because they do need those breaks. You don't want to throw the disc away. And timeout is called for Lemming. Lemmings call a timeout, possibly a wise move and one of these points that takes their time. We'll take a break. Make sure you check in with the Instagram post and check in with our commentator, Bingo. We're taking a break. Be back after this timeout. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Back in action, 9-7, a long point here. Lemmington called the timeout, and they are back and set and ready to put this disc into play. Here we are. We've got a bit of a snake in the grass here that Erdman has chose not to cover and help in the deep space right out, right out the gates. Katma goes around daily and a hand block oh. point block right there on the spot that timeout did not amount to much a Damn. reception or two and a swat down shut down hand block here you'll see again look at this before Fry picks up, she does get that break around. Erdman likes Fry, she's got her engaged, and Fry's gonna get open for her. Then dumps the deep one to Arne Gross. And because of the double team there, Erdman steps in front. Now Arne Gross. Oh, a little <laughs> layup there just as Coward at her head turned. They both threw their bodies, but it is. The German receiver there, Annika, like the goal. What a nonchalant throw. I guess he definitely believes in his teammates and knew she would give it all to throwing herself to the disc to get that score for her team. Look at this action. Great catch by the German player. Great defense by uh, Rosie Coward there as well. She did everything she could. She switched off. On to Hambrecht as she came into the end zone. And, and with a leading throw like that, uh, who's already got eyes on the throw. Nine eight, one point game. Disconnection doing their part there to tighten it up. Points right now. And the Lemmings out and running. Andy Partridge kicks things off. 
Lemming still leading the game. They took the advantage they needed on time. Back to Partridge again. And here Wind up, here comes the big one. Haynes is there, defense as well, and a couple of the fellas joining the party. Knocked away in the end by Erdman. Nice positioning and boxing out by the Levings player, but the, the high difference is still here and uh, positioning is not the same when you have a few centim centimeters more. Advantage to the chance to tie this game up. Kirklow, high stall count. And that one's almost picked off for wow. Callahan. Picked off nonetheless. Interception on the line. Dump back to the shirt 13 shirt. Now shot for goal. Not too much. That one is just enough weighted. Melissa Barnett to Lawrence Howard for the goal. Great look by the Lemmings player to put that inside perfectly in front of the player. Floaty enough as we like them. That interception, the high stall count for Kirklow. Uh, Great defense here also by the Levings player, 20. And here's another look at the throw for score. as the Lemmings extend what could have been a tie game into a 10-8 lead. Now is the moment for this connection. They need to score their offense and go for this break. A, we've, we've mentioned Arne Gross has been on the field a lot. Yeah, he's been a important player for this connection, this game. He's got eight stats to his name right now. Connection, this game. He's got eight stats to his name right now. Couple of those in the negative department though. Three of them, three turnovers as much as he's had his five, uh, three assists and two goals. Probably the Hawks, we've seen a bit uh, enthusiastic Hawks overthrown. Here comes disconnection. Turk with the disc. Leming sticking to the person defense. Haas winds up, goes big. There is suspiciously openness. There must be a pick. A foul is called downfield. Player was on the ground. Apparently, there were some contacts initiated before the cut, resulting in a player to the ground. And they'll discuss that contact now. They have not thrown the disc back to the original thrower quite yet. Though I suspect that will be the end result here. They might also be discussing the outcome now of this foul. Should the player catch up? Should the disc go back? And apparently they agreed on sending the disc back to the handler. Haas opts out of the deep shot this time and goes to Nova. Now the big what one, there's two swing. receivers there. They decide with eye contact that that one's for Yesser as Nova comes back under, sorry, Turk to take that disc. 
Turk goes to Haas. Where are the disconnection swings? The usual. Uh, and they both cut to the same spot. High stall count. They go to Nover straight back to Haas and then Forster playing in their own end. No bailout here. They've got to work their way right out of a sticky situation here. Fry tries to stretch it deep, but Coward follows. That could go out of bounds. No, it just stays in. And they keep playing from their end zone due disconnection. Begging for some engagement. There's too many people in the same spot. Turk does get away with this power position finally. But has to resort back to jamming a tight one up the line. Fry comes under. And Haas tries to put too little on it and throws it to turf instead of to fry. Really great defense and pressure from the Lemmings because this connection has been struggling so much here to get out of the traps and swing the disc as they usually do here. Every option were closed and miscommunications also led to some double cuts on the same space. Katma floats one up for Wilson. He checks his pivot foot and then resends it to McGreedy. McGreedy fires one up. Katma, one hand off balance. Front of the end zone here. There's a shot. Uh, OI to the back. It does count. Does he put the toe down? No way. He spiked it. He likes it. What a move. Ben Andrews collects the goal for Lemmings. And they are up a couple now. That's 11-8. I was expecting a uh, to happen or so, but no, no, no. The Lemmings player wanted to show off some Spider-Man flexibility here. Twisting his body in all direction to take Keep that foot in. What a tip toe. You cannot hold a candle to that kind of a reception. One of a kind, elite level receiving. Eleven eight, Lemming deemed it gap. The score. We like oh to see no, apparently the score is changing. I like to see Speed Sleuth playing along. Caught the gourmet. 11-8, never mind. And the pole hits ground. Magdalena Fry picks up and sends to Furster. Turk was in the isolation position. Erdman swipes and then dumps to Gross, who took a breather on the last point. Erdman, Weigel. Nice over the shoulder, backhand, high release. Forster now in to Magdalena Fry for the goal. What a series of throws by the ladies on disconnection. Really great work, as you said. Ladies, point here. We recognize here the typical disconnection for scoring system on the breaks uh, side of the end zone. That corner, we've seen them score a lot in the previous games. We're really like, and uh, also something, yeah, we we tend to have, let's say, teams tend to struggle in the mixed divisions to really have a clean mixed game with both genders equally served, equally playing, and uh, for these games, I I think that they've been doing really good playing with everyone. Deep shots have been thrown to both 
female and male players. Everyone has been playing handling, cutting, all position. There are no, uh, how would you call this? No, no division, division. No separation, no segregation of positions. Exactly, this. Everyone has liberty to do what makes them feel like a contributor or legitimately become a contributor. Very appreciable in mixed. Here comes the pole. Lemmings let it hit the ground and Wilson will indicate he wants to take it to the brick mark and does. Wind picking up a little bit here. Still Blowing no zone though. From behind our cameras away from the screen towards the grandstand as Lemmings underway pantling. Nice power slide here. Sanders zips one in to Katma. Katma moving his mark, going wide side. Cowards there, but there's going to be some company. Out of bounds, oh. out the back. Careful for the fence, people. What a shot against the wind here. But a uh, bit overthrown, as you saw. Kind of a greatest attempt here, I think, but uh, the fences make it pretty tough and dangerous. The under comes from Hospak. Arnie Gross gets Edmund. Deep dump to Stefan. Erdman again. Gets the in the guts dish. That is a floaty hammer that is not going to be one that he's happy about. I don't think that was wh what he was expecting when deciding to throw a hammer. So it, the release being quite high and not angled to reach the end zone. To go check his toolbox, maybe go to the hardware store and buy a new hammer because that one's broken. <laughs> Sanders goes down. He loves the knee slide. The second coming of Bruce Springsteen. Ooh, the flog on that one. And Kirklow makes up for his broken hammer and gets it back. I guess he has other tools in his toolbox here. Indeed he does, because he just put a spanner in the works there. Arnie Gross. Gone deep straight away. Erdman there over Coward, but not over Coward. Rosie Coward holds her position, gets the D, and smacks it away from That's not Erdman, that was Hambrecht, who she got in front of and stayed in front of. I think everyone understood now that when Gross has the disc, hugs are coming. It's been a pattern that we've seen from the beginning of the... Oh! <laughs> Kirklow throwing the body on the line the second time of asking. He that really feels responsible from that hammer turnover and will do anything it takes to get it back, twice even. Defense machine here. Guy's on fire. He wants that golden ticket to the EUCF. Knows what the challenges are. Erdman gets it again. Philip Steffen drew a lot of attention. Kirklow ended up getting it back. He zips one in the middle and Steffen's there. 10, 11, it's a one point game. Disconnection keeping it interesting. We're six minutes away, five minutes away from the end of the game. This is some universe point material here.
Kirklow with the throw in to number 60, Philip Steffen. Timeout called before we get to the pointy end of this game. We'll take one last break. Uh, maybe another one coming, but one late game break and talk to you soon. Those who do not know their history can never relive it. The skies, the dives, the sideline smiles. Our past is held in photo albums, drinking stories. The present is a gift. And here at Ulti TV, we want to make sure we always appreciate it. Capturing the immortal moments of Ultimate from around the world and making sure everyone can enjoy them for free, forever. Because the future, the future belongs to all of us. We are back in action. A lot of noise going on behind us. We'll find out what that's all about soon. There's a bronze medal game in the open division happening. We've got the gold medal match here for the golden ticket in the mixed division. A ticket to the EUCF. You see the wind blowing now. Lemmings with the lead. Disconnection not going away. Andy Partridge. To Cubit. Ooh, floaty, but Partridge takes that. And Lawrence gets his hands on a disc. They have resisted, and Partridge has to go to turf to keep that one alive. And then throws another low one and mishandled by Lawrence Howard. He closed his hands, and there was nothing between them. Kirk Lowe certainly hopes so. He, <laughs> he does need to redeem that hammer. Put one back in the toolbox. Show everybody that he knows how to do his hardware shopping. Weigel goes down and a awkward bounce off the turf, but she popped back up, throws a completion. Gross into Kirk Lowe. Not in yet. He wanted to celebrate. Now he can. Erdman with the goal. Four ones on the scoreboard. It's 11 apiece. Tie game, 11 all, late game. What a game we've got. Disconnection, still a break behind, but momentum is shifting. Here it is. Tied, tied up game, few minutes left. This is the moment for the breaks if you want to win the game. Not for Lemmings, they are still ahead. It all hangs in the balance. There was a point in this game where it looked like Lemmington had it and they could just put Disconnection to sleep and sing them a lullaby. We did start with a 4-1 game. But Disconnection has woken up and not allowed themselves to fall asleep. They are back in this. They are tied up and they've got as good of a chance as anyone, well, of the two people to win this game. Of course, in a level scored situation where Proving they have taken their spot that here. momentum. Time is over, that is the end of this point will be a plus one. So we are playing a game to 13. That much is certain. Oh, 
Tried to get a hand on that. Didn't earn it. Oh, steps oh, through. Oh. They would like to dictate the pace. Of Post goes deep straight away. Receiver there. That's Philip Steffen, but runs out of field. And it will go back into the hands of the Lemmings. Here it is again. Gross got the disc. Hux it is. You know it comes. Lemmings defense also taking down a flag on the way to the defense. Here comes Wilson. All of these points are big. Most certainly now with time already expired. Our precursor to a game point, potentially a double precursor to a universe point. That one never in, going back to the point of the throw. Up line. And again, so close to the defense again. Erdemann really wants this. She knows what it takes and she's gonna give it all. Now, 20 meters out. Maybe less. There is some contact on the mark. Foul called. No contest. Annika Hambrecht sets on the mark. <laughs> and that one by... <laughs> Wilson picked up on the doorstep, but not in yet. Engages the dump and gets Sanders. There is a bunch of double bicep flexing, so a pick called. Lemming so close to score that one of the last points of the game. But this connection already gave so much in the defense, so, uh, such intensity, especially with Erdemann's defense here stepping in front of her player. Will she get us another defense, another D for her team to get the chance to score, to break here, having the advance and for the last points? A injury by Wilson, who was the thrower there, so he's had a change. And we see Partridge stepping in, picking up the disc. Great angles we're getting right now. You see the end zone set coming from the corner, and we've got it marked up to look just like a stack there. Here it is, into Sanders. Sanders fakes. Again with the backhand to go inside. Now goes wide around. Erdman was blind, and it is caught for a goal. Lemmings take the all-important lead, 12-11, game to 13. What a nice shot. Lemmings got scared of disconnection defense probably and played it much more safer in front of the zone. They know how important those points are now. Mistakes are much more complicated to catch up now with end of the time. You gotta score your offenses. Another look at the stats. Arne Gross, huge contributor, but five turnovers now in his quest for all of these hucks. Still doing more good than not. On the other side, Alistair Orr. Two assists, sorry, two goals, an assist, and, a, and two blocks. Heck of a game by Alistair Orr. Game to 13, as mentioned, this could be game point or this could be the path to universe. Lemmings realizing that the time is over and that they are actually entering the last 
moments of the final of the spring invite in Padova for them. That pole gonna go out of bounds. That might be the last point if Lemmings successfully score a break. They could end the spring invite for Mix here. Game point available on a break. Tying Universe on a hold. It's all in the balance and the here! defense. That is a huge play from the first throw from scrimmage after the pull. Cubit. Sends and Fry just there trying to make up for it. McGreedy. The 28 shirt fakes the hammer. Now goes back to Cubit. This could be the game. Floated up to Coward. Coward. Can she take the championship? The golden ticket hangs in the balance. We got a pick. Stoppage on the field. Meters away. Coward engages, goes to end zone. There is company and it's knocked away. This is not over yet. Faster. Goes to Turk. Wide open, but the help defense almost got there. Furster. Fry was there, goes the other way to Gross wisely. He was wide open and now gets it to Fry. We're going to Universe Point. It's 12, 12 apiece, game to 13, Charlotte. What a change of situation here. Lemmings were two steps from the golden ticket to EUCF right in front of the end zone, one pass away. But disconnection defense said no. And what a turn. I mean, in three passes, they made all the way through the, their end zone for the score. And here we are for the universe point here. Mix final of the spring invite Padova mix division. We mix, we missed Galaxy, but we get Universe. And yes, we're with you. We love the drone camp too, trying to implement more and more as we go here at Alti TV. There is a timeout on the field. I'm not taking a break this time. We're too close to the pointy end here. There's too much to talk about. A slow start by disconnection. They have chipped their way back in. A break at a time, never more than two at a time. They gave up a little bit more momentum just before the half, went down 9-6. And since then, they've outscored them 6-3. So momentum most certainly with disconnection now. But Lemmings will start on O. How do you see this they one? Who's got the advantage right now, Charlotte? Well, obviously the offense team. If you start in offense, you always have the advantage. But as we've seen since the beginning of this game, you never know who is going to step out and show some crazy sick moves or for defense, for offense. Both teams have been showing a lot of skills in both uh, offense and defense. What say, what say, what, anything can happen. Exactly. I mean, we've seen comebacks, crazy. Lemmings leading the beginning of the game. Freiburg not giving up anything. We've played 24 points, but they don't matter. Only this one now. Both teams selecting their most suitable seven. Some would say their best seven to get the job done here on Universe. Double game point, as they say in America, but we know we like the universe much better over here. Here comes the pole, universe point, mixed final. The winner of this point going to EUCF. Daly with the disc. Daly, first throw, knocked away immediately. <laughs> Hamrecht. Could be the hero if that one comes in. Furster saunters to the disc. 
Gross engages first. Now Kirklow. Hambrecht. Erdman, rather. With the disc. Kirklow dropping defenders, but still in the hands of Hambrecht. High stall count. Arnie Gross. On the sideline, swings his arm around, trying to get a bit of space for a break. Throws to the corner. Felix Weiss is there. They've done it. Whistler with the goal and disconnection. Pull off the upset and win the golden ticket to EUCF. No way. <laughs> this is crazy what just happened. I mean, disconnection after a slow start made their way all their way through the universe point to finally score it even though starting on defense that's what we were saying you never know what can happen and here's the german intensity intensity in defense attacking every day they wanted it and they did it a huge turn of events there the first lead of the game for Disconnection happens to be the game that takes the win and seals the deal for their golden ticket. As we get our wonderful aerial views once again, we will take a break here after that thrilling mixed final. We've got more action, so don't you go anywhere. The open final coming up next. You saw 3SB Fui take down the Panthers in the semifinal earlier. We did not see the other field where the host team, Padova Barbastre, took down MUC to earn their chance to perform in the final home turf. That is coming up next. Thank you for joining us. Please don't go anywhere. We've got so much more action coming your way. I've been Stefan Rapazzo with Charlotte Terrasson here on Alti TV, and we'll be back with you in no time. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch.